The House Committee on Public Accounts has accused the Bureau for Public Enterprise of wasting $10 billion in public funds to register two companies for the Nigeria Postal Service, which folded up within a year. The companies Nipos Transport and Logistics Limited and Nipos Property were launched in May 2023 and shut down in May 2024 via a presidential directive. Subsidiaries. So Nipos uh, 2017, the National Council on Privatization, that's the council, the board uh, of PPE, gave approval that Nipos should be reorganized. So two subsidiaries were created. So we have um, Nipost Transport and Logistics Services Limited, and then we have uh, Nipost Properties and Development Company Limited. So because of uh, a lot of uh, political issues, and of course at times the NCP board maybe was not uh, in place due to maybe changing political situations. So it was in 2022. 2022, that um, the, the subsidiaries were created, but um, this year, May this year, the subsidiaries have been delisted. So that's what, so the, the sum actually was for the takeoff of the subsidiaries of NIPOS. The committee chairman, Honorable Bami Dele Salam, expressed disbelief at the expenditure, stating, it is unbelievable that $10.4 billion was spent to register the companies only for them to cease operations within a year. Of NIPO subsidiaries, yes, according sir. to you? Yes, sir. And they actually took off in what year? 2020, last year. They, they, they took off. They took off 2023? Yes. They were registered 2022. They took off 2023. And then they were delisted. And today, 2024, those corporations have been delisted. They are no longer in existence. No longer in existence. The corporations we spent 10 billion naira to give back to are no longer in existence one year after. No, no, sir. It's not like that, sir. It's so, like how, sir? Yes. Actually, the old money was not spent. So, this, uh, we are sorry that this um, submission was not paid. One, two, three. Was one, your two. own 400 million naira spent? Yes. The BPE head of finance and accounts, Iman Real One, who defended the expenditure explains that 423 million naira was spent on registering the companies and carrying out other activities, while 400 million was allocated to BPE for preparations. We spent the you spent the 400 million naira yes, as sir. part of the money to give birth to some new corporations. Yes, yes sir. One year after they are dead. No, what, what happened was that they actually took off and the money they spent, everything is on page four. Sorry, did that. The money that who spent? Each of the companies. So the money they spent. No, I, I'm, just, I'm just asking an introductory question. Yes, sir. The purpose of that money is to form those corporations. Yes, sir. Is yes. that correct? Yes. Are the corporations alive as we speak, as you and I speak? No, sir. Yes. Due to presidential directive. They were delisted this year, but not all the monies was spent. That was I'm not to. all the ten billion was no, spent. No, 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 no. They were not but spent. your own four hundred million was spent hundred percent. Yes, it was more or less like even pre incorporation expenditure before. All right, honourable colleagues, yes. please. You see the. However, honourable Bamdele Salam directed the BPE Director General Ayodeji Beleyi to appear before the committee on September 11th at 12 p.m. with all relevant documents. He frowned at the evident violation of the Public Procurement Act. Comfort Olayinka, the CTV News.